Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and happy Friday. It is just about 6.30 a.m. and I'm about to head into my workshop, but I wanted to hop on really quick and talk to you guys a little bit about my week. So overall, my week went really well. I did do the Wendy plan, but I didn't do the Wendy plan as precisely as I would have liked, only because there were just some things that came up during the week that kind of had my points fluctuating a little bit more than I normally do when I follow the Wendy plan. Just life, life happened and my points were a little bit off of what I like them to be on the plan. So I'm about to start my challenge with my Facebook group. It starts next Friday. So I decided that this next week, I'm gonna go ahead and do the Wendy plan one more time. I'm gonna stick to it 100% uh, and see if I can drop quite a bit of weight this next weigh-in as well. And then I'm starting my challenge on my Facebook group. So if you wanna know about my challenge, I put together an entire meal plan for you for an entire week at 23 Smart Points included are all of the recipes that you're going to need and basically the food that you're going to need to have on hand to participate in the challenge. There are prizes galore that I'm going to be giving away throughout the challenge. So if you want to check it out, head over to my Facebook group. It's here on the screen for you. Uh, join my Facebook group and let me know on the top post as the announcement if you want to participate in the challenge. That way I can add you to the pool for the prizes. But because my challenge starts next Friday, that gives me a whole week to do the Wendy plan one more time and see if I can stick to it a little bit more consistently and see what happens on the scale next week. So I'm not sure what's going to happen. Um, I'm hoping to lose when I get on the scale. I didn't by any means have a terrible week. I stayed on plan. I just wasn't as great on the Wendy plan as I would have liked. So let's run into the workshop. I'll be back to share not only the topic we discussed, but share my way in with you as well. I just got out of my WW workshop. What a fantastic workshop. Really made me think. We talked about body image and body positivity. And I know, I know, I can guarantee you this is something that every single person struggles with. Whether you're at your goal weight, close to your goal weight, far from your goal weight, there is always something about our body that we don't like. Whether it's our legs, our stomach, our flabby arms, our fatty back. What is it? about your body that you don't like. And think about that. So for me, I don't like the fat that I have on my back. I hate it. And I always try to conceal it the best that I can. No matter how much weight I lose, I still feel like I have that fat on my back. And I've actually talked about this in a uh, get to know the person behind the channel collab. I'll link that video down below for you guys where I really talk more about myself and my journey. But yeah, I hate my back fat. But here's the thing that we need to think about. Whenever we think about the body part that we don't like, turn that around, spin that around to what does that body part do for you? So what if my back went out? What if I had chronic back pain? How would that change my life? I wouldn't be able to walk in the mornings like I like to do. I wouldn't be able to get around as easily. I wouldn't be able to live a quality of life that I have now. So instead of thinking about how I hate the fat on my back, I need to switch it around and think about what is my back do for me? How does my back increase my quality of life? And I think if we shift our mindset about the body part that we hate so much, it will really help our journey. We won't be focused so much on the negative is we focus on what our body does for us. Our body is an amazing machine. Yes, there are weeks that we don't like our body because our hard work doesn't show up on the scale, but that doesn't change the fact that our body is an amazing machine and it is what is a tool to get through our lives every single day. So think about your body part that you don't like and put a positive spin on it and think about what that body part does for you and your quality of life. Something else we talked about in the workshop was compliments. And this is something that I know I'm 100% guilty of. And that's when someone gives you a compliment and you dismiss it. So if someone says, oh my gosh, you have such nice legs and you go, ah, no, I don't. 
you not only are dismissing the time that that per person took to give you the compliment, but you're essentially telling that person that they're wrong. And just because that's a part of you or your body that you don't like, we need to embrace the compliments that people give us. And a simple way to do that is to come up with some sort of a response when someone gives you a compliment. So instead of the traditional, oh, no, I'm not, or oh, nah, thank you, but no. Instead, come up with a phrase, thank you, that means a lot to me, or wow, that's really nice of you, or thank you so much, or whatever you can have flow organically when someone gives you a compliment. It's always nice to get a compliment, but we don't believe it. We're the first one to give a compliment to everybody that we love, to our friends, to our family, to our significant others, to our kids, to our dogs. Come on, I tell my dogs all the time, oh, you're so cute, or you're so handsome, or so pretty. But if someone says any of that to me, I immediately dismiss it. No, I'm not. Or you're looking good, you've lost some weight. Nope, I have so far to go. I'm dismissing the time that that person took which maybe was tough for that person to do. I'm dismissing their compliment. And how is that fair? And here's another thing. Would you do that to someone else? Or how would you feel if you gave your best friend a compliment and they went, eh, nah. You'd be like, wow, I took the time to give you a compliment and you completely dismissed it. So I think that part of changing our body image and focusing on the positive things about our body is to not dismiss compliments, take them to heart, say thank you. And when someone gives you a compliment, most likely you guys, it's probably because it's true. Whether you see it or not, it's probably true. So take that compliment, come up with a feedback or a, a response to that compliment that's positive. Again, treat yourself like you would treat your best friend. So my challenge for you guys for this week is to think about one of your body parts that you dislike and then visualize that body part and then turn it around and say, how does that body part benefit me? How do my flabby arms benefit me? I can hug my kids. I can pet my dog. I can swing a tennis racket on the tennis court. I can bounce a basketball. All of those things you couldn't do without your flabby arms. So take the thing that you dislike most about your body, spin it around and put it into a positive. And the other challenge is the next time someone gives you a compliment, take it, accept it, believe it, and thank them for the compliment. Don't dismiss it. And don't go, oh my gosh, how do they possibly think I'm pretty? Don't do that. Take that compliment to heart. And remember, they took time to say that compliment to you, which could have been tough for them. So never ever, from this point forward, dismiss a compliment. Take it to heart, soak it in, and appreciate it. So now let's talk about my weigh-in. Like I mentioned, I wanted to do the Wendy plan this last week. It got a little bit jumbled up with what I had going on this last week. So it wasn't as precise as it was the previous week. Again, I'm going to be doing the Wendy plan again starting today. I'm going to make my high point day tomorrow, Saturday. So my husband and I can either go to breakfast, lunch, or dinner. On the Wendy plan, I track everything. Like I've mentioned, it definitely makes me feel a lot more in control. If you're interested in hearing about the Wendy plan, it is in several videos. It's in my way in last week. It's on my Facebook group. It's in my Wendy plan vlog. So check those out if you wanna learn about the Wendy plan. There's a Wendy plan calculator online that you can calculate the points for yourself. But I'm enjoying the Wendy plan. Again, I've mentioned I feel much more in control. So because my challenge starts on Friday, I'm gonna do the Wendy plan up until Friday. That is a new start of a week for me. And then I'll be doing my, my Facebook group challenge. So I'm gonna start the Wendy plan again today. So last week, was a good week. I didn't do a lot of exercise. I've been focusing on some classes that I'm taking and that's a lot of time on my butt on the couch, to be honest. But I did step on the scale and I lost 0.6. So I'll take it after a really good weight loss last week, almost three pounds. I'm okay with 0.6. Would I have liked to lose more? Of course I would, but I'm going to take the 0.6. It's a loss. Puts me a little bit closer to my ultimate goal. And speaking of ultimate goals, and speaking of body positivity and body happiness, I wanna remind you guys that this is your journey. Are you gonna lose weight as fast as your neighbor? No. Are you going to lose rate, weight at the rate that you think that you should? Sometimes probably not, but that's okay. It is never okay to body shame someone else because you don't think that they're losing weight at the rate that you think that they should be. Because 
It's not your journey. And you don't know what their life is like. You don't know how their journey is going. Maybe they don't want to lose weight at a rapid rate. Maybe they're slow and steady. Slow and steady wins, wins the race. Maybe they're trying to make a gradual change in their life. It's never okay to body shame somebody or tell somebody or tell other people that so-and-so is not losing weight at the rate you think they should. Because not only is it none of your business, it's also not your journey. So I want to put that out there too since we're talking about body shaming. Remember, just because you might lose weight faster than someone else, or maybe they're not losing weight at the rate you think that they should, it's not really your place to judge. And remember, it's not your journey, it's theirs. So I want to put that out there with this whole body image. So that kind of relates back to me. Have I lost weight as fast as I want? No, but I'm losing weight. And that's all that matters to me. I'm happy. I'm living my life. I have a great community with all of you that support me, whether I gain, whether I lose. We should be supporting each other no matter what. We should never be shaming somebody because they didn't lose weight one week. So just keep that in mind the next time that you want to make comments or judgments on someone else. Uh, you wouldn't want them to do that to you. So certainly uh, not your place to do that to them. So I'm happy with my 0.6 loss. Hopefully. So hopefully this next week doing the Wendy plan, I see a little bit bigger loss on the scale. And then I'm really excited for my, uh, challenge in my group. I can think of the word. So join my Facebook group. It's here on the screen. Join my challenge. It's going to be a lot of fun. And again, there's a lot of prizes coming down the pipe for everybody who's part of the challenge. So I'm happy with my weigh in. I still lost. I'll take it. I want to hear how your guys' week was. Did you gain? Did you lose? Was it the week that you wanted? Do you, How do you feel that you could do better? And what is your plan moving forward on thinking positively about your body, not judging other people's weight loss journeys, and thinking about compliments and accepting those compliments and really taking those to heart. So I hope you enjoyed hearing about this week's topic. It was definitely a good one. Again, I want to hear how your guys' week went. If you're new to my channel, I'd like to extend a huge welcome. Make sure that you subscribe. Hit the little bell. That way you're notified when I upload a video. A lot of you have said, oh, I didn't know you uploaded. If you hit that bell, YouTube will let you know that there's a new video. That way you're not missing any. And give this one a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And again, leave me some comments. Let me know how your guys' week went. And I want to thank you guys for all of your positivity and all of your support on my journey. The good, the bad the indifferent. It means a lot to me. And I promise to always support you and never judge you on your weight loss. So thank you so much for watching guys. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.